hello guys welcome to today's video uh, today we'll be looking at cash flow in Microsoft project um, in Microsoft project particularly in context of construction or project management cash flow uh, plays an essential role in tracking the financial health of a project these fields help monitor how costs accumulate over the over time uh, compare plan costs with actual costs and assess overall project performance. Now, cash flow refers to the movement of money into and out of a project, usually in terms of when costs are incurred and payments are made. In the context of a construction schedule, cash flow is especially important because construction projects often involve large capital expenditures that occurs at a specific point in time. Cash flow helps project managers anticipate funding requirements and manage payments to contractors and suppliers. For example, a construction project might have heavy expenses in the early stages due to equipment and material procurements, but later stages may have more labor-related costs as the project moves towards completion. By mapping out cash flow in the project schedule, you can see when costs are expected to occur, allowing the project manager to ensure there is sufficient cash to cover these expenses. So we're we'll looking at uh, the cash flow field in the Microsoft project to see and uh, explain some basic terminology like the actual cost, the baseline cost, remaining cost, cost variance, and ACWP, BCWP, BCWS. Beginning with actual cost, actual cost refers to the real expenses that have been incurred for a specific tax or phase of a project. This includes direct costs like labor, material, and equipment, as well as indirect costs such as overhead. The actual cost is updated throughout the project as invoices, receipts, and labor charges are processed. For example, if a contractor has completed 50% of a tax and has spent $5,000 in labor and material, so far, the actual cost for the tax is going to be $5,000. If also a contractor spent, let's say, 60% uh, of a tax and spent $6,000 on the labor and material, the actual cost will be $6,000. As you can see currently, we have one uh, 1 billion over here as the actual cost. So what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, mark as many tax. Uh, we're just going to mark all of them as 100%. Uh, percent. Just marking this, we can now click on the tax and just mark it 100%. Remember it's 1 point something billion. And now when you go back, you see 1.8 billion. Let's mark as small so that you could see the difference. Let's say we mark all of such structure. We can mark all of such structure. Let's assume this. So when you come here, you're going to see about 4 billion. As you can see. Yeah. So now, looking at baseline cost. The baseline cost represents the approved version of the project budget. It includes the planned cost of each tax resource or phase in the project schedule. These baselines serve as a reference point for comparing actual performance against the original plan. Now, let's look at uh, the baseline cost. So, uh, before then, let's assume that uh, if the baseline for tax A was $10,000, that means the project originally planned for tax A to uh, cost $10,000. Any deviation from the baseline cost, whether over or under budget, attract and analyze and you will see that on the cost variance so it is important for you to set a baseline cost anytime you want to begin uh, scheduling so to set a baseline you will just basically click on the project option over here and then we can now come here and you can just come here clear baseline and then you set a baseline let's do that let's come here clear baseline set baseline so you can set for entire project or you can set for selected tax or you can select for to 
all summary tax or from subset from sub tax whatsoever uh, sub tax into selected sum summary tax okay so um, most times I set for the entire project when I'm beginning a job all right so the next on the list is remaining costs I think yeah remaining costs as you can see currently we have six one fifty six eight seven uh, six billion and before we mark all of those you, you saw that here was one billion and here was a little so it's tell it, it's definitely tell you that that remaining cost is the amount of money needed to complete a tax or project um, it is calculated by subtracting the actual cost from the budgeted cost it helps project manager forecast how much funding is required to finish the work. For example, if the total cost of a tax was planned to be $10,000, which is the baseline, and $3,000 has been spent, which is the actual cost, the remaining cost will be $7,000, as easy as that. Okay? And also, looking at cost variance. Cost variance is the difference between the budgeted cost of work performed and the actual cost of work performed. So we're going to see how this cost variance, uh, how this cost variance works. So it can show you whether your project is under or over budget at a given point in time. So it is just like you see the formula is BCWP minus ACWP. So let's just do that in a bit. So uh, going back to, we're going to look at. Uh, cost variance uh, the cost variance actually change immediately I I set a new baseline I'm going to take everything back when it was nothing here so when you look at it the cost variance now it's at zero so um, immediately I do anything on this portion the cost uh, variance will change so assuming that when this is supposed to finish on the 30th of March, it didn't. We're going to add actual finish date. So let's say it's finished on, uh, let's say, let's say it finished on, on the 4th. Okay. So assuming it finished on the 4th, watch properly, you see it's about 17.4 million. That is the cost variance, which is, uh, um, the, the the difference between the budgeted cost of work performed and the actual cost of work performed so assuming it was even before then let's take it back let's assume that uh, we finish on uh, where is the portion I believe is this so assuming it finished not even it finished before the 30th let's say it finished this date check you're going to see that uh, this is the cost variance and also we're going to look at uh, ACWP BCWP and BCWS so uh, ACWP stands for actual cost of work performed this metric indicates the actual cost that uh, have been incurred for the work that has been completed at a certain point in time. Um, it is essentially the same as actual cost but specifically ties to the amount of work that has been finished. If 60% uh, of a tax have been completed and $6,000 have been spent on labor material, the actual cost of work performed is $6,000 why uh, the BCWP refers to the budgeted cost of work performed, which is the value of the work that has been uh, completed up to a certain point in time. It is the portion of the total budget that was planned for the work that has been completed. BCWP is a measure of the end value of the project. And you can find all of this in the fields. So for example, if tax A was planned to cost $10,000, in total and 50% of the tax is complete then the BCWP would be $5,000 let's look at this uh, briefly so we just come over here and then we click on this 
this portion and uh, I can just hide this and add BC ACWP or BCWP um, it all works for all we're going to add ACWP we're going to add BCWP BCWP and also BCWS alright so um, assuming that uh, in this portion we just did only 50% going to see that uh, this and this changed okay let's say zero percent watch again none of that the bcws is uh it stands for the budgeted cost of work schedule which refers to the budgeted or planned cost of the work that was scheduled to be completed by a specific time it helps compare what was expected to be completed with the actual progress made if according to the pro uh, to the pro uh, project plan it was 38.40000 that was scheduled and let's say um, if, if this was that let's say for this tax we're going to use this amount since we're using this amount this is actually the budgeted cost of work schedule so now if we if we do anything on this place 25% we're going to see that the actual cost of work performed is 9 million why the budgeted cost of work performed is 10.8 million so uh, with this you will understand that the actual cost of work performed tracks the actual money spent the BCWP shows how much value the work completed is what and the BCWS shows how much work was planned to be completed by a certain time of course we've seen the cost variance which tells you whether the project is over or under budget by comparing the planned cost to the actual cost of work performed so understanding these terms is crucial for effective project monitoring and control especially in large complex projects like construction this metrics allows you to gauge whether the project is on track ahead or falling behind both in terms of schedule and budget So, uh, assuming you want to also um, want this BCWP, BCWS to also, to, uh, you want it to be showing over here on this chart. All you need to do is to come here, you mark, you mark them, mark them, mark them. There you have it. You can also decide to change the colors if you want to. You can decide to... Uh, Customize this a bit, maybe increase it. You can decide to enlarge it if you want to. You can take this away from here and fix it here. I'm just going to customize this a bit in my own way so, um, so that you can get to see any of the things here. Let's say you want to make this, you can just make this look pretty different from what we have here. You can just come here, change all of this. place you can also change this the, the chart type you can decide to change the chart type over here doesn't use it in this is it you can use any of this there you have I can also if you want you can just use any of this chart style
let's say you want to export it into Excel file or a Microsoft VCO you can just come over the reports portion here and click on visual reports and now this is the cash flow report you can now click it and uh, what we're going to do is uh, um, we just export Just going to click on this portion and wait for it. As you can see over here, this is so our cash flow report. This is the cost and the cumulative cost. You can also add as many things if you want to view more by just uh, clicking over here. to mark all of this if you want to so um, another task so let's thing say that you, might you want have to, to uh, make this a little bit color maybe change the easy um, identification you can just come over here let's say the actual cost you can just click click on it and uh, change the fuel color right click you change the fuel color you come over here you right uh, you right click you change sorry actual fixed cost change this fuel color to green you come over here you right click you change this fuel color decide to change the chart type if you want to okay so uh